Right now, I want us to go back to the book of Acts chapter 13, beginning with verse 50. Then the Jews stirred up influential religious women and leaders of the city. They incited a mob against Paul and Barnabas and ran them out of town. Now I want you to notice, when people make up their mind to reject the gospel, and that's what these Jews had just done, they'd rejected the gospel. And Paul looks at them and says, now listen, you know, since you've rejected the gospel and judged yourself unworthy to receive eternal life, I'm going to the Gentiles. Between the rejection of the truth and their hatred of the Gentiles, the Jews then go out and stirred up influential religious women and leaders of the city. Now, you will always find that when people hate you, they go to people of influence. See, they, they don't have enough influence themselves, so they use their connections. And they will go to people of influence, people who own businesses, people who own shopping centers. They'll go to people of influence and they stir up people against you. And then those people of influence develop a mob. So notice, persecution often takes three steps. First, the people that have chosen to reject the gospel and hate you. The second step, they go to people of influence. That's still kind of quiet. But the third step is where the trouble comes, when the people of influence use their influence and incite a mob. Now please, I've been doing this for, I've been preaching since I was 18 years old and I'm now 61. And I have watched this repeated so many times. I have watched people who hate you go to people of influence who then use their influence and the next thing you know, you have trouble. Learn to watch out for this. Learn to watch out for the steps. Learn to be careful. We're, we're entering into times in which Christianity is not necessarily popular in this world.